Hello everybody, good morning Malaysia. This is Jericho presents. Wait a minute. Well, I have done the unboxing of the Strike Rook 160 Perfect Grid and I can tell you there are a lot of parts. Fucking hell. A lot. I don't remember doing that uh, Strike Gundam 160 non grade skill with so many parts before, but this looks really daunting but extremely fun. Seems masochistic, and I like to be masochistic. So, this is not the only, only parts, there are more. This is for the Gundam strike rook itself but there is another one and as you can see here this these parts are for the sky grasper and the base stand and the size comparison of the two boxes of Gundam strike one are 100 master grade 90 bucks at Toys R Us Mid Valley good offer the only offer that is so cheap, cheaper than the normal hobby shops. And I'm wondering whether the set inside is complete or not because every time when a, when it's too good to be true, maybe it is. But as I can see, this box is very very crisp, unopened. Well, they can actually shrink wrap it, it themselves if I think. But I doubt it. This is a good model. Maybe it's cheap because it's made in 2004, if you can see. 2004. Is it focusing? Uh, yep. Never knew that, that this camera can focus while in video. Let's see, 2004. No. Uh, this model, this Freedom model, is 3800 yen. So basically, uh, if you can see, it is always written on the box, 3800 yen. And that means uh, roughly up to 4800 yen times 3 will be 120 ringgit. So roughly, I got a very, very good offer on this. 120 ringgit is the base price, conversion of 3.0 from yeah, uh, from yen to ringgit 120 bucks but I got it for 90 bucks I don't know why Toys R Us must be getting rid of their stocks because I see a lot of Gundam unicorns the chrome and whatever that cost about 400 bucks even for the 1 hour one, 1 hour 100 scale master grades that's a bit expensive so this is the sky grasper parts it's all plastic of course, not metal, unfortunately. Well, the metal ones are, uh, is it called Jogokin? They are too expensive, 500 bucks upwards. So this is the manual. And this is the second page. And if you compare it, it should be the same. Number of trees are, are there. Uh, uh, let's say it's right, but I haven't checked it individually yet. But of course, I won't check it individually until I start to put it all back together. Now, uh, this pliers diagonal plier mini, I bought it at the Daiso, and well, it costs only five bucks. Whereas if you go to a hobby shop like say IT Toys. It costs 55 bucks for a very good once-in-a-lifetime purchase. Well, the lady said there said that it's a once-in-a-lifetime if you keep it well by lubricating with oil and not sperm, so it won't rust. So this is the sky grasper, and there you have it. Okay, when am I going to open you up, baby? Freedom. Soon I will open you up, don't worry. Once I practice cutting up all and assembling the Gundam Rouge, I will come and pay you a visit.
my first concubine. So, let's see. Whereas for the Gundam, wow, three pages, and some of them are doubles. Okay, I don't think I'll go it, go through them one by one, but here you will take a look and see. All the parts are there, no worries. Let me compare it one section here, and one section there. If you can see around here, you can't actually tell the tell the weight by looking at the video, but I can assure you, this is heavy. These are metal parts, and I'm not sure what they are for, but if I can venture a guess, these are for the maybe vagina section. Yep, the vagina section. Uh, I think so. Must be for the you know the groin area. The area where, where you want to like go to when you are with a girl with your tongue of course always if you expect a blowjob return the favor and make sure she shaves so you have two I don't know stickers or water decals I'm not sure uh, I can't tell the difference between the water decals and the, the stickers but from past experience, uh, if it's water decals, it's a pain in the fucking neck to put on because you have to put in water, submerge it in water and, well, and t have some tweezers to put it on the Gundam. But I think water decals is quite fragile. It can easily come off or scratch off. But anyway, back to the review. So this is like metal, cool, and I don't think there was any metal in that non-grade 1 out of 60 strike Gundam. And you can see the LEDs and springs here, and a screw, one screw, two springs and one LED. Huh, there's something strange here. I don't see any wires at all, and it's not in the manual as well. I guess you have to buy the manu the wires separately. And of course the battery you have to buy it yourself if there I mean you can get it in the special uh, special hobby shops like IT toys. So let's see. <laughs> okay, this is the silver part. The silver ooh shiny. As shiny as my dick when it's wet. It's a lovely shine for an ugly looking huge ass sword. Mm. And as you can see here, I'm painting something. <laughs> okay, that's about it. And uh, what else do I want to talk about? Yeah, Bangladeshi. The second one that I know of in my lifetime is cool. Its English is good. And I told him a lot of my horror stories of Britain and he was amused very amused. I asked him whether he voted or not and he says no and he was looking at me funnily why should I vote? So I'm no if you want to give citizenship to people it does not mean that the people will actually go and vote for you or vote as ever. So might as well spend the money giving us all Gundams and porn this is a cool looking 5 bucks, cheap cheap, but can cut cut, not 55 bucks, but just 5 bucks. And Daiso, oh my god, I never re realized this before, but I think I've been there before, but this time I went and uh, took a look, and it really feels like I'm in Japan. I mean, I've never been there, but they sell onigiri and shit, and all the products mostly is from Japan, and maybe not from China, maybe mo. I think 50% of them is from China. That's why it's so fucking cheap. For sure. If it's cheap, it's from China. But, of course, if you go to a massage parlor and you ask for a Chinese China doll, it won't be cheap. Well, that's about it. And wait a minute. I will... Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? Oh, it looks like something to impale the anus. Wow.
Oh, I think this is for that sword thingy. Okay, that's about it for this time. It's already 10 minutes. And if you're watching this, you have nothing to do with your life. Oh my god, just like me. And if you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe on the thingy below in the YouTube page. Okay, you subscribe, me happy. And maybe I get some cash from advertisement. And yep, subscribe. Like I'm doing this. I'm just copying from Jeremy John's reviews and views. Maybe next time I will talk as fast as Gundam TK. Maybe. But I'll see you next time. And no, uh, wait a minute, Malaysia. Bye bye.